Okay, so today is the first part of a five-part video series um, because I want to teach you something that is one of my favorite prayer techniques or tools or practices called the welcome prayer practice. And what this is used for is to welcome a difficult feeling or state of being in us. You know, so when we're facing something inside of us that's difficult for us to be with, this is a beautiful practice. The practice has three stages and a pre-step. Yeah, so what I'm going to do in the next five days is like, first of all, just um, um, just teach you the pre-step and then go through the first, second, third step. And then on the fifth day, we're just going to do the whole practice together. So that's how I broke it down. So we're starting with the pre-step today. And um, before we start, as I like to do, I'm going to read you a little poem that speaks about this. It's called The Healing Time. Finally, on my way to yes, I bump into all the places where I said no to my life. All the untended wounds, the red and purple scars, those hieroglyphs of pain carved into my skin, my bones. These coded messages that sent me down the wrong street again and again, where I find them, the old wounds, the old misdirections, and I lift them one by one, close to my heart, and I say, holy, holy. So that really says it. It's like we're going to lift these wounds these stages, these feelings in us that we don't like, we're going to welcome them and lift them close to our heart. So, and this is not just a kind of self-soothing exercise, or, you know, like it's, it's in collaboration with grace. That's what's so beautiful about this. So the first step of it, or the, one could say the pre-step to even starting this is to call on grace. And so let's just start with that together. Yeah, so just allow your eyes to close. And have that be a symbol of drawing within because grace is within. Yeah, it's, it's an indwelling presence in us. It's also without. Yeah, but for this moment, we're calling on the grace within. And just just make this personal for you you know sometimes it might be something like please help me be with this difficult emotion I want to run I don't really want to feel this but please help me feel it or please help me be present with this that I've been running from that I've been avoiding that I've been distracting myself from help me to face it to feel it in my body because I know the issues are in the tissues. Or it can be something like I need support to be with this fear, this anger, this anxiety, this sadness, this grief. And whatever you, however you call on grace, it could be your word for that might be God, spirit, source, my higher self, my higher power. But make it personal. Like just asking for support. And make it real. You want to be honest. You want to be sincere. You don't want to come to God, to spirit, holier than now. That's not what you're feeling. <laughs> you know, if you're feeling like, I am so angry right now and I just want to blame somebody, but okay, I'm, I'm, I'll sit here and feel this, but I really need support. Yeah. So make it real. Yeah. It's the more sincere your prayer is, the more sincerely you're calling on grace, the more it can flood in. Yeah, there's something about when we're honest, when we're vulnerable, when we're raw, we're the most receptive to grace. So 
that's the pre-step and you can also use this particular meditation just to you know call on grace and then go into silence and as always you can turn me off now and then turn me back on when you're ready so to complete this you know just just taking a moment just to sense into your body what does it feel like to have called on grace what is maybe different in your body or what has occurred in your meditation if you have done a meditation and then when you're ready you'll open your eyes and making a commitment is when you get off this pillow now or the chair or wherever you're sitting to take that grace with you into your day. Everybody around you will be happy, <laughs> I promise. Bye-bye.